There's a woman who grew up in a country that has had conflict all my time. And I saw what was happening to people in those communities where conflict was happening. It was a total injustice. It was as if they were not human beings. Because of the role of a woman in society, the fighters know it very well that if they attack a woman, and especially attacking the sexuality of a woman, it means they have failed to protect the weak, who are always supposed to be the women. That's why you see in conflict, they will go for women. Because if you attack them, then it means we have won the war. And that's how the body of the women have become battlegrounds. Because they want to hit at the opponent through this woman. The root causes of violence against women in conflict is embedded in the, the society's perception of who women are. That whole marginalization of a woman as an object that is there to be abused by the masculinity in whenever they feel like. When you attack women, you are actually socially, economically, politically, and emotionally destroying your nation. We are still chasing the wind to be at the round table when post-conflict reconstruction is being negotiated. That is actually violating the women's rights. So we would like the international community to believe in women's movement, to uphold what they are saying, and to give it enough resources so that we can strengthen our infrastructure.